Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh. I got my girl Nebula here hanging out with me today. I'm gonna do a quick update video for you guys. It's been a little while since I've been on here. So, catch you up with everybody and show you how all the kids have been doing. Uh, so you guys can see Nebula's putting on some weight there. She's uh, she's up to 607 grams it looks like now. Her belly's all loaded up with eggs. Probably be laying them out here pretty, pretty soon. I'm put Nebula back up here in the windowsill. It's been her spot there the last few days now that the uh, sun's been coming back out set them up with a uh, nice little heat light there though just in case it uh, gets a little bit cold out here time to time but um still got all my kids and puff up top here my, my big boy puff he's been doing real good just coming out of his uh, the seasonal brumation there, he's starting to pick up his with his activity levels and stuff. Just went through a big shed, dropped off a lot of shed on his tail, and then uh, and now, now he's uh, he's got a bunch of shed up top here. Be dropping that pretty soon. So Puff's been doing good. Grab him a super worm here real quick. There, I got him some super worms. I'm trying to beef him up a little bit here. So he's been feeding him a little bit more than, more frequently. Just to get him uh, sized up here for spring. There you go. Getting these other ones before they get away here. So Puff didn't really put on too much weight since the last time I weighed him. But he's been uh, taking it easy this winter. He's going to be two years old here coming up in a few months. So he went through pretty good brumation there this season. Still got all his color and stuff. I'll grab him a few more of these super worms here. So I... Uh, Still doing pretty good with my super worms. And feeders. The insect closet kind of slowed down a little bit over the winter there. But I was able to keep enough uh, of the dubia roaches going. Where everybody uh, had plenty to eat there. Let's get Puff set up here with a couple more. A couple more jabs. Oh. He destroyed that one, that's for sure. Here you go, buddy. And I get him one more. For good measure. Get that belly going on him again. So, you don't want to always see your dragons where they look like they're bloated or swelled up. It's, sometimes it's, it's good to see this little uh, flap of skin down here. Have a little bit of flexibility to it. And, they have that then you know they're pretty proper size after they eat a big meal that that flap will kind of disappear there and here's all my other girls you got chirp right here she's looking wicked orange right now they look like they're interested in some food she's got a little piece of hair or something there by her eye a little piece of fuzz. Oh. Try to get that out for her. That lemon in the back there, she's gaping right now. It's pretty warm back there though. 
She's got some sheds and stuff starting to loosen up. This looks like her back there is all in shed. And then we got lemon right here. Or I'm sorry, that's uh this is my baby Belladonna right here. She's also in a heavy shed right now. Looks like from on the top of her head and then her back and stuff. A lot of shedding going on right now. You got my little Babu here. This is Mayday. He's my my boy. My little blind boy lizard. He was born with some uh, some birth defects and stuff, so I held on to him with the intent knowing that I was going to need to give him some extra special care. But he's been doing really good and he's getting super, super big. Hard to see how big he is with all the girls on him right now, but they're kind of crushing him. So everybody made it through the winter really good. Some of them put on some weight and a couple of them were uh, just laying low all winter, not too active. Run the whole range there, personality types and energy levels and stuff like that. So, but it's kind of the nice thing when you got a colony of dragons like this, then. If one of them goes down and it's brewmating, then uh, usually you got a couple brewmating and a couple that are active. So it makes the winter time a little bit easier. So everybody was getting a daily um, or twice a week baths for the winter time. And that seemed like it was a pretty good rate. Nobody got too dry and stuff. You can always tell if your bearded dragon's dehydrated. Because uh, when you go and pinch their uh, their side like skin, it should retract back really quickly. If it, uh, if it stays retracted out, then... Uh, that's usually a sign of dehydration. See how their belladonna's skin, that fold there, kind of sucks back in and disappears. <clears throat> if she was dehydrated, then that flap of skin would kind of just stay out depressed like that. So, based on their the elasticity of their skin, you can judge how well hydrated they are. Here's Belladonna right now. She's looking for a super worm. Looks like Chirp's kind of hungry too, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed these guys. They've already had their breakfast, and it's just just afternoon right now. So usually I only feed my adults twice a day, but I uh, give these girls a little bit of a snack so you guys can see the feeding session here. Maybe we can get one of them to come jumping out of the enclosure. And I'll put that on the ground. Here comes Belladonna. Oh yeah, she's out. She's got it. Got two of them. So I'm going to uh, feed these girls a little bit of an afternoon snack here. And then, uh, then I'll give you guys the update on Rocco. Oh, here comes Chirp. Chirp got one. I can always tell whoever's the hungriest, because they uh, come out first. Whoever's hungriest will jump out first. So, and then I like to just toss a couple super worms around here for the girls and watch them do a little bit of hunting I 
Oh, Belladonna was too quick there. Give him a little bit more distance here. And then we'll have to pull Mayday out and get Mayday to do a couple jabs. He's all alone in there now up on the log so you guys can see how big Mayday's been getting. It's huge. Mayday's my special boy because he's got poor eyesight. I've had to spend a lot of extra time making sure that Mayday gets fed properly. Doesn't have to compete with his uh, sisters and stuff for food. So these girls will just eat all day if they could. And just keep eating and eating. So, let's get uh, Mayday out here, show you guys feeding him real quick. Alright guys, so I'm back. Got the camera trained in on Mayday here. And uh, I grabbed a uh, super worm for him. So, uh, these super worms I didn't dust up with calcium. But usually I just do their breakfast meals with uh, the calcium powder. So, let's see if we can get Mayday to take a jab at this. He definitely sees it. Oh, he missed, but... There we go. Almost got it. So I like to hold it off to the side so that he can see it. And then once he strikes, I have to just kind of make sure that it connects with his tongue. He has a habit of jabbing off to the side. And then uh, sometimes he misses it. So then what I like to do is after he's eaten one, I wait till he opens his mouth a little bit. Oh, sorry, buddy. I I wasn't able to get him in time. Sometimes what I'll do is uh, after he's done swallowing his first meal worm there or super worm, uh, and he's got his mouth open still, then I'll. Uh, stick the super worm in there for him because otherwise he uh, he has a hard time seeing it to go for that second jab so sometimes it just helps to assist feed him so let's see once it catches his eyesight he usually will tilt his head I can tell Lemon's gonna really wants this one right now so I'm actually just gonna give Lemon that one That way she's not trying to steal it from Mayday. She's probably going to want a couple more in there too. <clears throat> so we'll do one more for Lemon. And then uh, <clears throat> see if we can get Mayday to do another one here. Mayday doesn't like when the other lizards they're eating near him. That kind of makes him not want to uh, to jab at the food. So I'm gonna actually reposition Mayday here. See if we can get him to do one more super worm. Pull him out. And put him down here for a second. Let's get the camera down, focused on Mayday here, and then. Uh, so I'm going to try seeing if he'll uh, take it, he sees it, he sees it, he's thinking about it, Let's see if we can entice him a little better with it, I'm going to try doing it on this side. So and I can see Mayday's got some uh, gunk build up in his eye right now so I might actually have to get him cleaned up so I'm, I'm actually gonna pull Mayday out and we're gonna uh, I'll show you how I clean his eye and then uh, and then he'll be able to see a lot better 
Alright, so I got Mayday pulled out. And we're going to uh, see if we can get his eyes cleaned up a little bit better for him there. So that he can uh, see better. So he's not completely blind, but he definitely uh, has issue with his eyesight. So I like to use saline solution for contacts. And what I do is uh, I get his eye pre-wet there with this, just a little squirt in there. And then uh, I take a napkin that's been folded up like this. And uh, I get one of the edges wet. So, and then really gently, you're just going to come in here. And you don't want them fighting it. So I'm not really touching his eyeball. I'm just kind of wiping the lid here. And uh, see if we can get that in camera better. And uh, basically just clearing out all the crud that he's got built up in there. Let's see. Oh, he's getting a little bit nervous about it. Let's see if we can get him to calm down for a minute here. So let's see. Just make sure that we got everything there. Okay. Can you open that up, buddy? Good boy. Now let's uh let me get this other side here quickly. Well, I got him pulled out. This other side's actually looking a little bit worse right now. Let's see if we can get you folded over. And get a, a visual of what's going on in there. It's kind of like a viscous tears. So what we're going to do is switch the camera around just a little bit so you can see this side better. I'm going to zoom in there. Oh, he's getting a little bit impatient. There we go. Let's see if we can get them all taken care of here quickly. So I'm going to put this one underneath here. And that keeps his chin dry. And then they're going to come in with the saline solution. Just do a little bit of a squirt there. Nothing too much. And we're going to use this napkin here. Oh! He's running with the little babu. So while we still have that eye wet, we're going to just try to get some of that gunk out. And see if we can get in position just a little better for us. There we go. There. A little bit of debris in there, even. Let's see. That looks a lot better. There we go, buddy. So now, if I offer Mayday a super worm, let's see if uh, if he has a little easier time seeing it. I'm gonna grab him a nice size one here. This is a good one for Mayday. Let's see if we can get him to. Oh, yeah, he sees it. Oh, he missed. Oh, here he goes. Got it. Good job, buddy. 
Good job. And while he's uh, licking his chops here, let's see if we can get another one in there. I don't want to confuse him. Oh, there he's got it. Good job, buddy. Maybe try one more. And then we'll call it good after this. Oh. He almost had it. Oh. That was pretty graphic. Oh, he's fallen. Oh, Babu. There you go. I got him. Maybe we'll do a weight, a quick measurement on made and see what we got for a weight here. Been a little while since Mayday's gotten weighed. Let's see what we got. Looks like Mayday is four ninety seven, almost five hundred grams. That's pretty good. Rocco's hanging out back here. He's doing pretty good today. Enjoying some of that sunshine. That sun coming right through the window for him there. He's been doing real good too. Kind of slowed right down this winter and stuff, but he uh, he's kicking back up now. Getting ready for a busy year. fathered a couple clutches there over the winter so uh, my boy Rocco here he's a daddy now the big boy well you guys I think I'm gonna uh, cut the video short it's uh, kind of a long update I haven't even uh, didn't even get to rocks and Nova and stuff, but they're doing good. They uh, they just been hanging out upstairs there, doing their thing. So uh, thinking about maybe uh, changing the name of the channel here going forward, because we've been starting to grow, picking up some new subs, and we're gonna be hitting a thousand subs there probably before summer, hopefully. So, uh, thinking, tossing the names around, and I've been thinking about maybe uh, changing the name of the channel to uh, The Dragon Layer. So you guys will have to let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys got something good out of the video here, and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Till next time, guys. Later.